To visualize the PDB structure for HHB in Molestar, first open the structure summary page. Just clicking on this 3D view will open the Molestar page. This is your 3D canvas. I can just uh, use the mouse in the 3D canvas to move things around. You can see four protein chains shown here in four different colors. On the top, the sequence panel gives you access to the sequence of all polymers and other contents in the structure. So in this case, there are the two hemoglobin entities. And if I select one entity, there are two copies, so chain A, chain C. And then other than that, there, are, there is the heme group, phosphate, and waters. This panel is to um, navigate and select and show different components. So for example, I can hide the polymer, show the polymer. Let's hide the waters for simplicity's sake. So we are trying to investigate the heme group bound to chain A. The heme group here, I could just click on this or I could find the heme groups here. They are A, B, C, D, four heme groups are here. So I'm selecting chain A and if I click on that, I get to explore the environment around the heme. And so once you're here, you can mouse over the residues shown and see this histidine, 87, is forming a coordinate bond with the iron in the heme. And there's another histidine here, but that's the distal histidine. For practice, try to find the histidine that coordinates the heme bound to chain B. Now that we've explored the neighborhood of a ligand, we want to look at a particular amino acid residue in a chain and see how it is interacting. In chain C, C-terminal residue, this arginine 141, how is it interacting with whatever is in the neighborhood? This is sort of an example of a situation when you're looking at a mutant and you're trying to understand how the interactions of that particular residue is different in the native versus mutant condition. So the way I would go about this is I would go to chain C by selecting the entity one and chain C. So now I'm looking at chain C sequence. If I click on this arginine, this purple colored arginine is the one in question. So notice this arginine is interacting with this aspartate in chain A. It is interacting with some waters. It is also close to this particular tyrosine from chain B, but it's not a direct interaction. It is via this aspartate. What is displayed here are just these hydrogen bonding interactions, but you can change the... So ionic interactions are not shown here, for example. So I turn that on and notice this arginine to aspartate, there is an ionic bond. You can turn on and off these various options and play with it and see what you find.